Consider the scenario where you are at a gathering and you notice a highly attractive individual. You're not particularly good at pickup lines and conversation starters. Deep down you just wish to attract the person you admire. What can you do to get their attention? According to studies, people's attention spans have significantly decreased. A YouTube video has only 10 seconds to capture your attention. You will only watch the full video if the first 10 seconds of it are enjoyable, else, you will move on to another. The same is true for the impression we make on others. After only a few seconds of observation, people quickly create an opinion about us. Therefore, it's important for us to make a strong first impression and grab people's attention. But how do we make a positive first impression on others? Well, there are a few ways. Here's how to attract someone in just 90 seconds. Appearance. This is probably the most important aspect of attracting someone. It just takes 30 seconds for your appearance and body language to attract someone. Most people believe that since appearances are genetically determined, they cannot be changed. Which is wrong. Our appearance is determined by three major factors. The first and most important factor is the physique. Possessing a desirable physique does not require you to immediately begin bodybuilding. Simply said, it means that your physique should be proportionate all around. And you may accomplish that by eating sensibly and working out for at least 30 to 40 minutes each day. The next important factor is your hairstyle. The right hairstyle can make you look younger, more attractive and more appealing. We must be able to identify the kind of face features we possess. Following that, we should try to imitate the hairstyles worn by well-known people with similar face features. Now the last important factor is clothes. It might sound strange, but certain types of clothes do attract us. According to research, leather jackets seem to embody attractiveness, class, and notably confidence, making them attractive to practically everyone. People may learn a lot about us by the clothes we choose to wear. It reveals our professional status and personality types. It may also provide us with information about the society from which a person originates. Therefore, we should constantly choose clothing that is well-fitted, sensible and has a significant impact on our appearance. Which type of clothes do you usually wear? Write it down in the comments section below. Body language. You can attract someone with your body language without even saying a single word. There is a certain type of body language that, if followed by someone, will definitely make them look attractive. And openness is the main ingredient of this body language. Open body language gives a clue about your friendliness, confidence, and willingness. A closed body language, on the other hand, conveys your shyness, insecurity, and lack of interest in interacting. Now you might be wondering how to have an open body language. You can do so by following these points. 1. Maintain an open posture. Don't slouch, just be at ease. 2. Shake hands firmly. 3. Maintain good eye contact. 4. Avoid touching your face and body. 5. Give a genuine smile. Communication. We need good communication skills to attract someone. There are three steps to having effective communication. Step 1. Know the wants, needs and goals. The first step is to decide on a specific need or goal. Instead of differentiating between needs and goals, we should concentrate on achieving specific goals. Regardless of whether the objectives are personal or professional, communication is the same for both. Step 2. Find out what is being delivered. In the second step, we should examine the current situation and what has been given, bearing in mind whether it meets the needs of that situation or not. It's important to gather as much feedback as you can. Additionally, we must be able to distinguish between what is desired and what we are actually providing. Step 3. Change and improve practices to achieve the desired results. 
In the third step, we should try to improve our communication practices slowly and gradually on the basis of feedback until we get our desired results. Now let's dive into the three secrets of effective communication. Secret 1. Active listening. Active listening is defined as listening to someone while paying attention. When we actively listen to people, we can develop strong bonds with them. A competent listener can build a personal connection by using skilled body language and questioning methods. When someone else is speaking, the listener should be patient. He should pay close attention to how they are behaving and speaking, as well as their body language. Secret 2. Questions are the answers. A question is a fantastic conversation starter. Questions help learners to learn quickly and help build a strong relationship with their conversation partner. We should use two types of questions, open-ended and closed-ended. Open-ended questions are those that cannot be answered with a simple yes or no. They are often called leading questions as well, because they express thoughts. While closed-ended questions are those that can be answered with a simple yes or no without further explanation. Close-ended questions help the partner to focus on the conversation. A mix of open-ended and closed-ended questions allows partners to take breaks in between conversations. Secret 3. Sensory Channels In face-to-face -face communication, it's important that we use our partner's preferred communication channel. The neurolinguistics programming concept is built on the interaction of people in a sensory channel with any of the three learning types. That is visual, kinesthetic, and auditory. Many people learn best by seeing things, such as nature, photos, and reading books. This is referred to as a visual learner. Kinesthetic learners comprehend information through touch and feel. Auditory learners, meanwhile, learn by closely listening to what is being said. A good listener and observer become skilled in determining the preferred sensory channel or learning style of a learner. This video was inspired by the book, How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less. It is the work of Nicholas Boothman, a master of neurolinguistic programming, whose work involves educating organizations and groups on the secrets of effective face-to-face -face communication. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos on self-improvement and personal finance.